Waterproofing a shower. Waterproofing a bathroom floor. How? When? Why? What? It's a concern for everybody because that's the, the room that gets the most moisture. Hi, everybody. Bob Galise with One Man and a Hammer and OneManandAHammer.com. When you're doing a bathroom, the biggest problem has always been keeping the water from infiltrating the walls around the tub or the shower because that's what usually fails on every, on, on every bathroom is the tile eh, probably a foot up from the tub, a couple feet up from the shower floor. That's where the water wicks up. Today, there's products out there that control that, that make a wall waterproof. There's also products that make the floor waterproof. Two of those products I want to talk about today and just kind of introduce you to them so you understand what they are. So when you call us to do your job, uh, you'll understand what the word Schluter means. Schluter is the company who makes two of these products. The first one is for walls. It's called Curdy Mat. The Curdy Mat is a, and you can see I have a little sample thing right here. The Curdy Mat is this orange stuff here on the walls. Curdy Mat, once placed over either a green board or cement board, makes those walls completely waterproof. Not water resistant, waterproof. The second product that Dietra makes, and trust me folks when I tell you, we use these products on every single bathroom and tile floor that we do, and even the tile floors outside the bathroom. Uh, but the second product um, is something called Dietra Mat. The Dietra Mat is a separation membrane that you put on the floor first, and then you put your tile on top of that. If you have a, a plywood subfloor, which most people do, if you have a basement, of course, if you're on slab, not necessarily a big deal, but the Dietra Mat is a separation membrane. In other words, it allows the plywood substrate or the slab floor beneath the tile to go ahead, expand, contract, move, and, does, and do what it has to do, which is what cause, uh, causes tile to crack, typically. Um, but it separates those two, so the tile is stuck to the Dietra Mat. The plywood subfloor is below the Dietra Mat. It does not affect the tile whatsoever. Um, knock on wood, we have not been back to one job where we've used the Schluter products ever. Um, so it's a great product. Yes, it's a little more expensive at the onset. Bottom line is, over you know, the next 10 years, next 15 years, you don't want to be doing your bathroom or your tile floor again for a while, I would assume, unless you're a very wealthy person, you really shouldn't be sitting here listening to me anyway. So, <laughs> But bottom line is... Um, Spend a little more money now, have the, the walls and the floor uh, properly prepped, and you'll never have to do these again. I guarantee it, and we do guarantee our clients. We back this up for 10 years. That's how sure I am of it. So join me this Saturday morning on the Home Toolbox at 8 a.m. Eastern on WELW.com. See you then.